Hey guys, I got a question for anybody who might know um, about these older Quincy compressors, and I know Rotary CompTech might, and I know that uh, Quincy Compressor will probably be able to answer me. Um, just one thing I've noticed, uh, kind of looking at the owner's man, I don't actually have in front of me, I've actually got it on my computer, but uh, this is an ROC 10. And the one thing I noticed in the owner's manual and parts list for the ROC-10, it actually had the bell tower style unloader head, or um, unloading tower, versus the diaphragm. Um, yet, there's nothing here that really indicates that um, this unit has ever been rebuilt. Um, and the other thing, too, is, you know, this color is the gold color, which I remember seeing some Quincy compressors this color in the past. But if I go down to... The tank here, uh, somewhere it says 1975. I'm sure it's right in front of my own eyes. Yeah, built 1975. Tank was made by Wessels, Detroit, Michigan. Um, 200 psi at 650 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess I'm well within range on that. Um, but anyways, yeah, that, that's the, I guess the one thing I've always, when I was uh, getting some parts for this, so when I first got it, uh, the uh, parts company where I was getting the parts on it actually had emailed me the uh, parts list for the ROC-10. And like I said, the one thing I noticed was that the unloader tower um, was different. This is the new style diaphragm, yet it's the same color um, as the compressor. And from what I was told is the ROC-10 goes back to 1963, I think it was. Um, so I'm a little confused as far as how old this compressor really is because, like I said, um, you know, it's all the same color. And I swear that this is a Quincy color. It's kind of that uh, tarnished uh, uh, bronze color. So... Um, yet there is no actual uh, Quincy decal on it, so maybe it had been repainted at one time, I'm not sure, but I was told it was a one owner machine. Um, I'm just a little confused as far as how old it is because of some of the newer features it has. So, um, like I said, you know, this one has the, the new style um, unloader tower versus the uh, old bell tower uh, style. So, um, yeah, so like I said, this is an ROC 10. And according to the ROC series, the ROC-12 is when they came out with the, the uh, diaphragm tower. So, uh, I'm not sure. And then I'm looking through some Google, uh, some images on Google, and it looks to be that um, this hole that's been tapped here, a lot of times they had a copper line that came across and it came down the front. And I thought I saw it go into here, which is this nothing more than a built-in elbow. It goes in through here, and then it comes out on the side here, because there actually is a... Yeah, you can't see it too well. Yeah, you can kind of see the light come through. So like I said, I don't know where this actually, what this is actually for, or what it actually did besides bleed off the head pressure, but I don't know why it would have been tapped. So I just put this copper line on here, uh, basically to divert the air so it isn't blasting off the wall and creating a bunch of dust. So I guess it doesn't really do a whole lot of good, but... Um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, just a little confused as far as what year this actual compressor is because the tank dates 1975 but the ROC 10 uh, goes back to 1963 so I don't know when the ROC 11 and ROC 12 came about um, and by the looks of this I don't really see any signs of this compressor ever being rebuilt and knock on wood hope I don't have to do it anytime soon but a uh, good thing is there's a mechanic in the family who's my brother, and uh, he said that he'd be able to rebuild it for me, providing I got all the parts. The only one thing that I did here that kind of scared me a little bit, um, obviously this is the old uh, vein style oil pump, and you can't get parts of this anymore. There, um, there, supposedly there was two different vein styles, and this is the one that they don't have veins for. There's veins for a different one, which is what the um, company I was told by who I get my parts from. But they suggested that if I have to rebuild, I have to go with a new style oil pump, which is the Geo style. And the salesman had actually told me by the time I put the money into the Geo pump and the rebuild kit, he said it wasn't worth it, which I don't necessarily agree with that. I know it would be an expensive rebuild because I want to say the rebuild kit is about 350 bucks. 
plus another geo style pump I want to say it was like another well he told me about seven or eight hundred but I thought I saw them online for a little bit cheaper but maybe I wasn't comparing apples to apples but like I said hopefully I won't have to do that anytime soon it still picks up oil pretty quick so um, it may run forever the one thing I've learned is just to keep nice clean oil in it and I do use the uh, Quincy uh, Quinsip uh, oil for this one so but yeah I was just wondering if anybody has any information on that as far as um, how the ROC series work because like I said this is an ROC uh, 10 pump but it has the newer uh, diaphragm uh, unloading tower or newer style diaphragm unloading tower yet it's all the same color and maybe this isn't a Quincy color maybe I'm thinking of something else I know I've seen a lot of the kind of the lighter bluish green ones but I do remember seeing one a couple years ago at a local high school that my buddy was um, a uh, maintenance manager at and he had showed me their boiler room and they had a little uh, single stage uh, Quincy compressor that was this color um, I want to say it was maybe, maybe like a 240 model or maybe a number 210 but it was this kind of a goldish color so anyways if anyone happens to know anything about that uh, please leave a comment on the bottom or send me a private message I'm, I'm just curious uh, you know parts obviously are not an issue but it's just uh, I'm a little confused what I got here because the tanks is 1975 but the ROC 10 um, badge goes back to 1963 and like I said it's got the newer uh, unloader tower so Anyways, thanks for watching. this compressor. Thanks for watching.